Shane Jordan with Specialty Appliances. We're an orthodontics lab, one of the largest in the U.S., and we do large volume orthodontic appliances. We specialize in appliances that correct overbite and underbite as well as general alignment. We adopted 3D printing uh, back in 2011 uh, based on the fact that our doctors were starting to get in oral scanners. So we had to get into 3D printing. We bought our first 3D printer. We all have 260V Edens and then now the 260DS. The original process is what we call analog, which is where you go into the orthodontist office and they make an impression of your teeth. They put the goo on the tray and stick it in your mouth. But once that cures, they take that impression and they send the impression to us. We then pour a stone model inside the impression, pull that out, and we build the appliance on the stone model. With the digital, the main application is that the doctor scans the patient's teeth and gums and they send us an STL file of the patient's teeth. So when we get that STL file, we print out the patient's teeth and gums, and then we make the product on the model. This is a model that we typically will print for a uh, visible retainer uh, or an invisible liner. And when we print the model, uh, we only need the teeth and a little bit of the gum work. We take a piece of material for uh, orthodontics and thermoform that uh, material onto the model. Once it's thermoformed on, we trim the edges of it so that the patient can uh, comfortably put it in their mouth. And as you can see, it has a fair amount of retention. So once they snap that in, uh, it stays in there very well. What this does is allows the patient to keep their teeth in alignment after they've had their braces taken off and they don't tend to have tooth drift as much. Some of the other appliances we make are a traditional uh, retainer. This is an acrylic and wire retainer for uh, holding the teeth in place after uh, orthodontic treatment. And we print the model out. Uh, we send it over to the first department that actually bends the wire uh, to fit in the correct places to retain the teeth. Then we pour and trim the acrylic to fit into the patient's mouth. And of course, when it's done, uh, it holds everything in alignment. It's really been a, a boost in some parts of our production because we can essentially know that we're going to have a batch of models come out at a set time. So we're able to stage uh, the models to be able to, to handle a batch flow easier. And we also are able to do some digital trimming and digital work before we ever print the model. So we're able to remove some artifacts that we would typically had to have scraped off at the time of use, as well as uh, removing brackets and things like that to make aligners. 3D printing provides quality, reliability, speed, dependability, and ease of use for us. What we did find, obviously when we knew we had to get into 3D printing, um, we looked at everybody and we made a decision which we stuck with so far that the strategist had the best thing for us.